Hey everyone, this is James from Anemone Aquascape Gallery. I recently made a trip to my local fish store, Cuboid Nature Aquarium. And since the staff has been building up their aquarium gallery, I thought I'd give you all a tour of the space. The first tank that you see in the gallery was the only one that's actually not built by one of the staff members. Um, Cuboid had done a workshop a few weeks ago and um, this was built by a local aquascaper named Hawk. I'll leave his uh, contact info if you want to follow him on Instagram. But um, it looks like it's about resembling a 60p aquarium but it's an all-in-one system instead which is why it has a black background. Um, I'm not sure of the driftwood that's used but I believe it was all Wheo hardscape and um, an elderly stone and you can see there's some Ludwigia palustris and some Rotala species in the background some java fern and I believe it is an Owase substrate they told me that this scape is currently being run low-tech and uh, as you can see it's relatively new since there's some white slime on the wood but I'm sure in no time it's going to develop and look quite a bit better. Personally, I hope they add a CO2 diffuser maybe in that outlet compartment. And um, that way those background plants grow to their full potential. Next up is this 15 inch by 15 inch by 15 inch cube which is also about 15 gallons or so and um, has kind of a unique layout with dragon stone um, and some driftwood in the back which I wasn't able to ID exactly what type it is and um, this is also a low-tech aquarium with a lot of floating plants some immersed growth and simpler crypts and ferns and anubis then we have this Wio which is a 36P. I want to say it's probably about the size of an ADA Mini M. And it has a Wheel Bonsai, which I think the floating plants is kind of covering at the moment, and some nice stones. This one's also running low tech. And it looks like I believe they have heaters in all the aquariums too. Then we have this Wio 90P, um, which is just a standard 90 by 45 by 45 centimeter aquarium. Um, this one was built by Maddie, who was the one who created the previous two layouts as well. Um, it has an AI blade light, an ADA light screen. I think this layout, they told me they were intending on making it as a high-tech CO2 layout, but they just haven't gotten around to setting the CO2 yet. Um, despite that, you can still see some pretty decent growth out of the plants, um, especially that Ludwigia arcuata. Um, it is kind of a newer layout, so you can see that there's some algae that they're working through at the moment, but it certainly has a lot of potential. Next door is the 75P Wio Aquarium. For me, this was unique because this is the first 75P I ever saw in person. I actually got confused and thought it was a 90P at first. And um, this is again using the Elderly Stone by Wio. And I, it looks like they're using HC Cuba and doing a dry start method. So basically they rooted those plants several weeks ago and it's kind of been a greenhouse in a sense where they spray it down and then they seal the top with some foil keeping the humidity really high and letting the plants grow without having it in full aquatic mode um, i believe they wanted to fill the aquarium up relatively soon
Here's another cubed aquarium. This one's just slightly bigger at 18 inches uh, front to back in, in height. So it's probably about 20 gallons or so. And again, this is another low-tech aquarium. A lot of simple mosses, Anubis species, and um, some smaller crypts. And they have a nice little school of rummy nose tetras, which really stand out against the wood in the aquarium. You can see some immersed plant growth, as well as a Hero Aquatics light above. So I think this was my favorite part of the gallery, personally. Um, these are two nano aquariums. I don't have the exact dimensions, but I know one on the right is a Wio shallow, and the one on the left is a super shallow aquarium. Um, you can see that there's supposed to be a pump to let the water out through the moss. So the moss is kind of suffering at the moment, so hopefully they'll be able to fix it. But it's a really nice layout with some nice floating plants, moss, and hardscape. I've always wanted to build something like that, but I just never get around to it. And this is a shallow tank with some driftwood, some pothos out the end, some um, java fern, and moss and a nice betta as well. They seem to be really interested in doing like water features with um, return pumps to make little waterfall features and something I've never really tried but seems kind of cool. And um, I, if you follow my Instagram, you might have saw that I posted about this previously, but this is their paludarium, which is a UNS paludarium with an AI prime light on the top. Um, again, they got that waterfall feature on the driftwood, a lot of immersed plant growth, some floating plants, and it looks like some live bearers on the under, underwater portion. Um, they told me that they accidentally used potting soil instead of aqua soil and that's why the water is so um, leached in tannins. Um, apparently it gets like that only just after a few days but other than that the black water <laughs> setup looks really nice and this is my other favorite in the showroom. So hope you guys all enjoyed the tour. Um, if you want to visit Cuboid Nature Aquarium, it's in Pipersville, Pennsylvania, just north of Doylestown. For me, it's still over an hour drive, but I still try to make it out there when I can and um, just support the local aquascaping hobby in Pennsylvania. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.